you've if you're able to navigate your MLS, you're able to navigate Facebook Ad Builder. So it's not like you can just say, I'm not going to do this because you're going to get run over by the competition who is doing it. So you say who, not how. If it's beyond your scope to learn how to do it, then hire somebody who will do it that can do it. And you can find really any kid, any college kid is going to be able to figure out Facebook Ad Builder. It's super simple. Um, and they'll jump in and you can say, hey, here's this idea. I want you to implement this. And they'll, they'll, they'll create it for you. Okay. So to bring it back, if you were starting over today, you would embrace technology in the form yes. of an example, using technology to generate leads and that marketing piece of your business, using both buyer and seller lead magnets through an example being Facebook ads. Yes. And question with the ads. So, you know, they've walked through, they've clicked the buttons, whatever we're set up, how much per week, per month, like what, what is the ad spend that you would recommend? Not much. I mean, for me, it would be, um, I would, you always want to be testing it and, you know, seeing what works and what doesn't work. I'd start at $5 a day. So $5 a day times 30 days is $150 a month. That's a really good starting point for, for a lot of agents. And then if you see traction though, and you say, Hey, I, I got three buyers that were live buyers that I was able to start working with. And it's really gaining traction every week. Then I would ramp it up. I'd say, okay, let's go from 150 to $300 a month. Now let's go to $600 a month. Just ramp it up as, as it gets bigger and bigger for you. Yeah, that makes sense. It's um, red light, green light, you know, red kind light, of green light. Exactly. <laughs> you hit the, hit the gas pedal a little bit. Is this working pause, you know, and then, right. then push the gas a little, little harder there. Okay. Gotcha. Exactly. So I'm at the point, I understand how much I should do for ad spend in the beginning. And then, uh, so this ad is going out to the target audience that you've decided on Facebook and people are clicking and you mentioned instant form on Facebook not direct to a website. What is your reasoning behind that? You, because you'll, you'll lose some people between the point that they click and they say, uh, okay, now I'm going off of Facebook. In fact, Facebook kind of puts up a little bit of a wall and it will say, you're now leaving Facebook. And people are like, oh, I don't want to leave Facebook. I'm going to stay on Facebook. So you want to make it super easy and I would call it frictionless so that they don't have any friction in, in filling out the lead form. They can just fill it out on Facebook they can then you captured their lead, and then the next step is they get the link, and it will still take them off the off the website at that point. But at that point, you've already collected the lead, so you've already got the lead. 